I call on Suzanne's friends, family and everyone watching today to commit themselves to pray for Suzanne and support her in this new and exciting role. If you'd like to join in with this while I'm praying, uh, we're going to conduct a virtual laying on of hands suitable for COVID and pandemic. I will lay on hands from this distance and I'd like to invite you, if you'd like to do this, to hold out your hand to your own laptop or computer and the image of Suzanne there, and we'll share together as we pray. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for calling Suzanne to the role of President of the Congregational Federation. We thank you for her energy, for her commitment, for her creativity, and for the wisdom and experience she brings to the Congregational Federation, its churches, and its contribution to the worldwide church. We thank you for the way in which she reaches out to others. We thank you for the way that she speaks your word and lives your word. And so we ask that you will bless her now. Give her strength for this role that she is undertaking. Give her courage to speak your word. Give us hope and inspiration as we share with her and listen to her and speak with her. Keep us faithful in prayer for her in all that she does and be with us all because we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord Jesus. We ask your blessing upon each of us. Amen. And so Suzanne, I greet you as the new president of the Congregational Federation in the name of Christ. What's fast becoming a new liturgical action, I think. We're making sure we do it all properly. Thank you, Janet. And thank you very much for your prayers, everyone. And I receive this incredibly humbly, and I hope to serve you well. Amen. And hallelujah. So, um, I'm going to sign the, the President's Bible for May the 8th, 2021, and our online assembly. It's traditional to give uh, some gifts, the incoming President, uh, give some gifts to the outgoing President. Uh, I, I'm supposed to be just, just one, but I've gone a bit crazy, I'm afraid. Right, I've got some gifts here. Uh, I'd just like to talk about the first one, and then the, the others are on the theme, so that um, Janet, Janet can open those uh, afterwards. I think many of you know um, that I'm very much into historic art, uh, and I love going to galleries. And part of the tradition of assembly is that the the gift should somehow reflect the incoming president's name uh, and you've already had a knuckles as president and he was a wise president and a good man and it's been very humbling to come to nottingham and see john knuckles's name in the presidential bible and very sadly we, we lost him uh, uh, during the pandemic not from covid but it, it obviously made things very very difficult for us as a family to have the funeral and, and to grieve. Um, so I, I don't think I, I, can, I can better knuckles. So I've gone with Suzanne. And there is a Susanna who is a follower of Jesus in the Gospels, but there is also a Susanna who's apocryphal and her story turns up there. And it's a very much a story for our times, if you ever want to read it. It is about um, a woman who is treated appallingly by um, some of the men in her church uh, and you can probably see the, the, the how graphic this image is. Uh, it's very much a, a story for these times of the Me Too movement. Uh, this was painted by a woman, Artemisia Gentileschi, who also has uh, a story of being a woman in a very male environment and she also went through uh, great difficulties but found her paint and found her voice and found her creativity. And I wanted to give this to Janet, partly because she's into biblical studies, uh, but also because she's had 
that uh, way of encouraging my generation to find our voice uh, and to be ourselves. And I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to say this, but um, I don't think I would be here now if Janet hadn't been where she was as a minister in Haverhill and also the positions that she's held in the Congregational Federation over many years. And I think that's true for a lot of women uh, congregationalists at the moment. So I want to give you a picture of Susanna and the elders <laughs> um, for, as part of the, the presidential gift. And the rest you can open now. And they are more to do with the theme of joy. So that's quite a difficult image uh, and quite a, a, a hard one um, coming out of... Susanna and Artemisia's experience, but these, these are all fun. Right, <laughs> the fun in a moment. That is that is fabulous. Thank you so very much for that. Um, it's an image, I've seen a documentary on it, <laughs> um, but it also inspired me, therefore, to think that, that women could be creative and, uh, and uh, um, have courage, uh, even in times when we thought life was so very difficult for them. And it is a very strong image, and I will value and treasure that. So thank you very much. It's very well shown. Lovely. So, right. This, I think, is a book. If it doesn't rattle. <laughs> <laughs> and a book of joy. That's fabulous. Thank you. Lots of poems. Yes. <laughs> More create. Oh, this is good. <laughs> This may take some explanation, but those of you from Sheffield will immediately ah. know what it is. is that... Janet has, doesn't have a sweet tooth, she has a savoury tooth. Uh, and it's also linked to joy because it's Henderson's relish. What? And we, uh, we enjoy and we relish things, don't we? Yeah. Uh, and it is nothing like another well-known sauce, even though it's the same colour. It's very, very different uh, and very much a, a symbol of uh, an icon of Sheffield. Fabulous. I thought it was a bottle of beer. <laughs> oh, well, that's a cup. I'm going to say it's so much better. <laughs> and I know that Janet really enjoys uh, her real ale, and her and Chris often, uh, you know, catch up at the pub. But I couldn't resist uh, a can of daily bread. It's called daily bread. <laughs> that's fabulous. So there. Thank you very much, Suzanne. That is wonderful. Thank you so very much.